everyone, I'd like to welcome you back to the Bloody Fork Homestead. I'm kneeling right by our water trough, and this is the one that's uh, connected on the other end uh, to a spring. And I'm happy to report that for the past, oh, about 10 days now, it's been running continually. And the spring's flowing, and it's great to have a source of water. And that's what I want to address today. Oh, how do you know when your garden actually needs water? And then uh, when do you need to water? When do you have too much water? Uh, that's what I'd like to address as we, as we consider that today. In answer to the question about water and plants, it, one thing is uh, it depends on what plant it is. Uh, here we have some asparagus on this side of our garden and asparagus is one of those crops that uh, likes to have water. It doesn't mind having its feet wet. Uh, I think uh, originally it came from a swamp area so it, <laughs> it doesn't mind again having its feet wet. Uh, but uh, right now these have already pretty much bushed out and gone to seed so I'm not as concerned about them but uh, they they like a, a good amount of water uh, they don't mind having their feet wet uh, that's one consideration uh, another consideration is where the plant is at what stage it's at and these squash right here several different varieties uh, a straight neck yellow squash and some zucchini and also some butternut squash up at the top they're all putting a lot of fruit on right now so one thing that they definitely need is some consistent water uh, if you see the leaves drooping down like crazy it might be a sign that they need water and it might be a sign that it's too doggone hot for them too i remember when i grew these in south carolina uh, when it got up into the 90s they didn't like it at all but uh if they're bearing fruit, they need consistent water. And I'll show you what I mean by that in just a minute. Here we have four tomato plants. And they are beginning to put fruit on too. So they need consistent water. So what do we mean by consistent water? Uh, what, what, how do you know if it's enough water? Uh, one of the things you can do is look at the soil, uh, dig down into the soil a little ways, and if you find that it's consistently moist as you dig down, if you go down a good six, eight inches and dig into it, and then you press the soil and it stays together, you've got consistent moisture. That's what plants like right there. If uh, it needs to be consistent, and, and then it needs to crumble apart. Uh, easily crumble apart like that. It has consistent moisture. And again, dig down a ways and make sure you have that uh, beside the plant. Press it together. If it holds together, you've got good moisture. If it stays together and it wants to <laughs> uh, stay together and not crumble apart like that, you have too much moisture. Your plants won't be happy with too much moisture, especially tomatoes. They like just consistent water, dig down a ways, and when it's like that, if you're digging down and you only have moisture at the first inch or two or three, uh, that's not good either. It needs to be consistent moisture all the way down six, eight, ten inches. Uh, if it's consistently moist like that, uh, you're in good shape. Again, that's one way to tell if you have, that's the simplest way, uh, if, I, if I dig down a ways and I find that I don't have that moisture, it doesn't hold together, then I know that I need to water. If it stays together and it doesn't crumble apart, I know I've got too much water. It's very easy to do. Uh, consistently, peppers, tomatoes, uh, green beans, all the same way. They just like a consistent moisture and dig down a ways. If the soil holds together, you're in good shape. And what about watering fruit? I think one of the important things with fruit is uh, where you plant it to begin with. Uh, 
this is a pretty good slant right here and it faces west and it faces uh, south with its uh, downward slope. Uh, so it's a well-drained soil and that's what uh, fruit trees like. They like a, a well-drained soil and also berries, raspberries here. And by the way, uh, these suckers are delicious. Um, I picked them this morning and they're ready to pick again. <laughs> um, but I'll go ahead and have to imbibe in these. And also fruit trees in a well-drained area, if they have mulch, it's a good thing. It just gives them consistent moisture. But if you plant a, a tree, a, an apple tree in an area where it stays too wet, the apple tree will die because it does not like to have its roots wet all the time. In the same way it goes with berries. They need a well-drained soil, but they need consistent moisture. Uh, our, we planted these apple trees last year, and this is a June red. Uh, and I'm glad they're, they're bearing fruit already this year. This one is. But uh, they're very happy here because there's a good slope. It's well drained, and I check the moisture. I pull, pull the uh, mulch back and just make sure it has consistent moisture, and they seem to be happy with that. I had planted this particular row early in the season with tomatoes and every one of the tomatoes was drooping and I didn't know what was going on. I didn't know if it was some hay that I had that perhaps was sprayed and I'm, I'm glad it wasn't that. But what it was, was it was too much moisture. Uh, it was too wet down here. So what I did with this row was I added some, some mulch, I added some uh, wood chips, and I worked the soil with the tiller, and now it's in good shape. It drains a whole lot better. And uh, that was what it needed more than anything. I, I moved the uh, tomatoes up and planted them until I amended that. I planted a row of tomatoes across this way, and they're all doing good. Uh, they're happy. The green beans, in spite of the bug attacks, they're thriving. We're going to be picking beans, the Lord willing, next week. And the peppers, uh, they seem to be happy over here. There's more sunlight, but moisture is so important. Again, having consistent moisture. Uh, do the crumbly test. If it's crumbly, as you put your hand down in it, if it crumbles in your hand, you're in good shape. Uh, if you aren't able to pack it together at all, it's too dry. If it stays packed together and won't crumble, it's too wet. Very easy way to test the moisture on your plants.